the basic REA pattern describes the resources, events, and agents in a business process. That curved blue arrow indicates that two or more events can be associated with each other within the same process. Resources are the things that the company owns or controls or sells. Things like inventories, cash and cash equivalents, plant, property, equipment, and the like. Events are transactions such as economic transactions, sales, cash receipts, purchases, cash disbursements. And agents are people or organizations such as employees, customers, clients, suppliers, vendors, and the like. Now to give you a better idea of how the REA pattern works, we're going to give a simple sales example. In this example, that stuffed bear is our employee, the lion is our hungry customer, the lion has money, which is important, and we're selling cookies. So that's our inventory. Okay, the bear now sells the lions the cookies. And as we expect, the lion then pays the bear for the cookies, and the bear deposits the money in the bank. So in this example, the cookies were a resource. The bear and the lion were agents. Specifically, the bear was an internal agent and the lion was an external agent. When the bear sold the cookies to the lion, we have the cookies resource, the inventory. We have the sale event, and we have the bear, the internal agent, participating in the sale. We have the lion, external agent, participating in the sale. Now when the lion pays the bear, we have another event, the cash receipt event. The bear participates in the event by accepting the money. The lion participates in the event by paying the money. So we have events and agents. After receiving the money from the lion, the bear deposits the cash into the bank. The cash in the bank, the bank accounts, are a resource that increases due to the cash receipt event. So we finish this off with a resource and event. So what does that look like in a class diagram? We see that we have two events, the sale and the cash receipt. We have two agents, the internal agent, the bear, the employees, or the external agent, the lion, or in general, the customers. We have two resources, cookies, which were our inventory, and cash, which is our second resource. So that is a complete REA model. Notice the associations. We have the internal agent participating in both of the events. We have the external agent participating in both of the events. The inventory decreases as a result of the sale event and the cash resource increases as a result of the cash receipt event. So we have the classes and the associations. We need to add the multiplicities to our diagram. Let's do it a step at a time. Let's take the lion external agent and the sale event. For each lion, that lion is involved in a minimum of zero sales and a maximum of many sales. This assumes that the lions are in our database before participating in any sale. Working the other way, for each sale, there is a minimum of one lion and a maximum of one lion. Each sale involves only one customer. Now let's add the bear. In the same way as we had the lion participating in the sale, each bear is involved in a minimum of zero sales and a maximum of many sales. Going the other way, each sale 
requires one bear to process it. This again assumes that the bear is in our database before participating in any sales. Each sale is only handled by one employee in this case. If we add the cash receipt event, we have basically the same multiplicities. The same logic applies. Each bear and lion is involved in a minimum of zero cash receipts and a maximum of many cash receipts. Each cash receipt, however, requires one bear to accept the payment and one lion to make the payment. Now let's look at the sale event and the cookie resource. Each sale involves a minimum of one and a maximum of many cookies. Each cookie is involved in a minimum of zero sales and a maximum of many sales. The zero next to the sale event indicates that cookies have to be in our database before they can be sold. Finally, the multiplicities between the cash receipt event and the cash resource. Each cash receipt is deposited into one account. Each cash account can receive a minimum of zero and a maximum of many cash receipts. Thinking about these multiplicities, you should remember that each cash receipt is a single payment and businesses usually deposit their receipts daily into one account. So when we put this all together, we have a complete REA model with classes, associations, and multiplicities. We know all of the multiplicities based on the example, except those in the middle between the sale and cash receipt event, and those depend on the business policies. So here's a question for you. Assume the bear sometimes allows the lion to pay at the end of the week. And the lion pays in full for all sales during the week when the lion makes that payment. What would the multiplicities for the duality association between sale and cash receipt look like in that case?